Now another thing that's included with this task, let's say, check for employee data, and then we have a check for data in the file. So now my first step that I want to do is check for employee data file. If the file exists, then as a next step, I want to check if there is data in the file. So now there is a condition that I'm putting over here that check for employee data file and only if there is data in the file, then move on to the next step. If there's no data in the file, just stop right here and come out of the package execution. So now you can just link your output, um, the output link from your first task to your second task. So now I want to create some kind of dependency between these tasks. I want the second task to execute only when the first task results in an output of true. Okay, so now what you can do is click on this output link, which you have used to connect the two tasks, and right click on it and go to edit. And when you click on edit, right click and click on edit, a new window will pop up and that would be called the precedence constraint editor. So these are basically, these precedence constraints are nothing but your setting or dependency between the tasks. So you can put your if then else kind of statement in these tasks. So they, uh, the next task will depend on the output of the, of the previous task. So based on what is your output of one task, you can decide whether you want the other task to execute or not to execute. Or if you want some separate uh, set of tasks to execute. So you can design your workflow like that. If the answer is true, then execute these set of tasks. If the answer is false, then execute some other set of tasks. Now, if you when this uh, window pops up, you'll see that there are some default values already filled in this uh, editor, and there's something called the evaluation operation. So it sets it to constraint, and the value is success. If you I click on this, then there are three values: success, failure, or completion. This is simply this is basically if your first class, if your first task uh, succeeds, then the next task will execute. If your first task fails, then also you want the next task to execute. So there might be instances like that, that even if the first task fails, it's just a maintenance task. You want the, uh, the flow to uh, go on and complete, then you can choose failure. And completion is it either succeeds or fails, you do not care, and you want the next uh, task to process then you have to choose completion. So only in case of success, only in case of failure, only in case or in case of completion, which is either success or failure. All right. So that those are your default options, but mostly you will not be using those options. The ones that you want to use is go to the evaluation operation and then select on expression. All right, once you select an expression, then you have another line added to your editor, which is the expression editor. So you can just click on it. You'll have the same window that we have been seeing for uh, so many other functions as well. So just click on variables and parameters. Now I want to check this variable, user variable file exists. Drag and drop it over here. If you evaluate expression, it will give you the default value of false. All right and say okay now what i want to do is basically check the value of this variable and based on its value i want to decide whether i want to execute my next task or not now for that you have you come to the uh, next section that says logical and or logical or so logical and is basically all constraints must evaluate to true so you want this to evaluate to true, only the file exists, we then we want to proceed and check if there's any data in the file. So we want it to execute to true. So this, the one option that we are going to choose is logical and. If there were some other set of constraints that we were checking, then we could have uh, chosen logical or as well, or would basically mean that one constraint must evaluate to true. All right, now in our case, we want this to be true. So we are going to put it as true and say okay 
So now you can see that there's a sign, and there's a sign over there that says that there's a constraint. So this is now a conditional execution. Only if this uh, gives an output of true, then I should be checking for data in the file. So just save your package again and start. So this is check for employee data file, this is true. So now the next uh, task should execute, say okay. And it has given the next task has executed, saying okay. Okay, come back to design mode. Now going back to the variables. Uh, let's just change the file name so that the first task executes to false. Save it and start it again. Now the first task is executed to false. So you can see the next task has not executed, but the package has executed successfully because that is how we designed the package. So these are known as precedence constraints and these are very important. They give us a lot of flexibility to design our uh, data flow or workflow in SSIS.